Hey, what's up everyone? This is Arts and Farts episode two. Yeah, so today we're gonna be drawing uh, this door. Um, I was trying to think uh, think about what I wanted to do for the for the next episode of Arts and Farts. Um, and I've always had this this weird thing for interesting doors. I think doors are, are just like a super interesting concept that I think a lot of people just kind of, you know, don't really think about. Um, but I, I honestly just like going on the internet and looking at pictures of like cool doors. And I wonder like, you know, what kind of building is this door, door is on and you know, what's behind it? And you know, what, like what, what's the story behind the door? Like it's, I don't know, it's super fascinating to me. So I hope you guys, uh, I hope you guys uh, find it interesting. I don't know. I mean, it's one of those things that like for me drawing comics, like I find that there's so many things that, that I, I draw in comics that I like wouldn't normally think of drawing just regularly, like if I was working in my, ske working in my sketchbook. And uh, doors have been one of, those, one of those things for me that I just, just find like super fascinating because like you, you're drawing, drawing a door, like, you know, like what kind of door are you gonna draw? Like the doors are different, you know, no matter where you go, like there's different kinds of doors and different buildings and houses. Like there's literally so many different, so many different things. If you're drawing like, you know, a sci-fi story or something like that, there's all sorts of like crazy space doors and junk, I, I don't know. But uh, before I get into talking more about this door, um, I just want to say thank you for all the amazing responses to the first episode of Arts and Farts. You know, I, I kind of, I'm very excited about this series and it's something I'm very, very, uh, very happy about, very excited to do more of because I enjoy it. But um, a lot of you have been participating and like posting with the hashtag and like I get to see your guys' take on like the reference drawings and, uh, and the, the reference photos, you know, how you draw them and People have done them in like you know different ways. Like I saw some really cool uh, praying mantises from from last week's episode. Where people were drawing like anthropomorphic versions, and you know using all these really awesome colors and stuff like that. So if you if you haven't had a chance to check out the hashtag, the uh, hashtag is in the description. Um, from here on out, we're going to be using arts and farts all spelled out, like without the ampersand. Whether you're on Twitter or Instagram or uh, Tumblr. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just uh, use use that hashtag. It'll be in the description if you're if you want to double check to make sure you're posting to the right one. But you can also tag me in your drawings and stuff, um, so I can see them. And if it's on Twitter or Tumblr, I'll like uh, repost it and stuff like that. So, yeah, I uh, I'm obviously getting caught up drawing these roots, and that's that's the reason I picked this this uh, door in particular because I I love that like the roots are like growing into the door frame, and I definitely wanted to draw that. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, thinking about like the shapes and stuff, like when you're when you're messing around with like plants and like detailed stuff like this, especially if you're just drawing from reference, like, you know, just just for like quick practice or whatever, like don't worry about getting it all 100% accurate. You know, I, I talked about that a little bit in the last video. Like, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like, you're just you're you're practicing, and uh, like I talked about in the last episode, and I'll, I'll probably continue to mention this periodically. Um, I'm not looking, you know, straight at my reference for a long period of time. Usually I will look at it for about a minute before I actually sit down to draw, like, you know, like 60 seconds proper, and then, uh, then, then just get to drawing it. And I find that usually, you know, that's enough of like a mental image for me to get like an idea of what I'm doing. And, uh, so, so I recommend trying that, um, just, you know, stare at your reference drawing for a little while you know, familiarize yourself with some of the shapes. And uh, like I talked about in the last episode, like drawing on top of your, your reference photo can really help um, familiarize with those, with those, those shapes as well, uh, get familiar with the shapes. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying here, but uh, yeah. So uh, let's see, I'm drawing with a Crayola colored pencil. I got this metallic purple Crayola colored pencil. Um, I really enjoy drawing with colored pencils more and like you know, just not even doing like full color or anything like that, but literally just, you know, doing line work with like one color of, of colored pencil. It's, it, it's kind of like a, like a different experience from using, using graphite. I don't quite know how to describe it. I'll have to like think about it more if I really want to describe how it feels different or anything like that. Cause I mean, mostly just like the texture of the, you know, the colored core as opposed to graphite and stuff like that is, is just different, but it, it's a, it feels like a different experience, um, drawing with it. 
So I'm focusing on the 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 roots and stuff. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. I mean, it's roots, obviously. I don't know if it's like there's a tree growing on top of here. Like, what the heck's going on? But this, uh, as soon as I saw this reference photo, I was like, yeah, that's the one. I knew it. Um, and I, I definitely wanted to do something uh, different from last week because last week, you know, we did the did the praying mantis, and you know that was fun and everything. And it was, you know, that was an animal though. So I, I figured that. Um, we do something, you know, for the most part inanimate. I mean, you could consider the roots as, you know, part of a plant and that's animate or whatever, but they're, they're dead roots. And, you know, I haven't even gotten to the, the door here yet because I am just like doing, doing like a little bit of a frame. So, you know, the, this, this shape right here is what I'm, what I'm focusing on. Like that's, that's what stood out to me the most. Um, looking, looking at the shapes is like this angle right here. Like that, that's like, for me... That's like, it feels like what the photo kind of like revolves around is centered around. Like you can build everything in your drawing off of this angle right here. So that's where, that's where I kind of uh, started with my like visual, visualization process. I can say that word. I'm a, I'm a smart guy. I can say, I can say words uh, most of the time. So, but um, you know, if I'd be curious to know, like if you're drawing along with this or you're trying it out for yourself, like where did you start? In the drawing, you know, some people might do like a light outline of the door and then draw the roots around that. Everybody's going to do it a little bit different, you know. Everybody's process is different. So if you if you if you feel like it, you know, um, leave a comment. Tell me a little bit about your process, you know, when you're drawing. Like, where, where do you start? Like, how do you how do you start a drawing? I'm always I'm always fascinated to know uh, how different people draw. Uh, it's it's honestly like so amazing to me that. You know, something something is like universal is like drawing or making art. You know, literally every person does it in a different way. Uh, you know, at least a little bit different. I I just think that's 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 freaking beautiful, man. So yeah, let me know. I mean, and you know, let me know how you feel about the series. If you if you're liking the the reference photos being used and stuff so far, I'm gonna try to mostly you know do creative creative stuff. You know, stuff that I think is a little bit you know different, a little bit interesting. Um, you know, it, maybe because I'm going to try to be finding stuff that, you know, maybe I wouldn't just sit down and sketch, you know, because I think that's the best practice. And, you know, I've definitely talked about that before. It's best to practice stuff you're unfamiliar with. That's how you learn to draw new things. And I'm not even going to get like the whole door in my in my drawing here, but mostly, you know, the shapes that I really enjoyed, like all these up here. That's what I really wanted to show. And uh yeah, I'm just, I'm super, I'm just super happy. Like, I enjoy making this show. I love seeing you guys participate. I'm just like absolutely, absolutely floored. Um, and, and like, to the, to the point where like, I barely know what to say. So I just say like, thank you. Like, dang, for, for your support, for the show, for, for me. And, you know, drawing, drawing is great. <laughs> it's devolving into like, just the most, simplistic possible things I can think of to say right now but don't you kind of don't you kind of like look at this door and like wonder what the story behind it is like how did it get to this point where it's just like I mean it looks like obviously nobody's used it in a very long time like I don't know if it's out of use because because you know a plant grew over the grew over the door frame I mean that takes you know many years a very long time for that to happen so I don't know but it makes it makes me wonder you know I wonder I wonder wonder what you think I don't know it's like What's behind the door, man? What's behind the door? You know, like what's in, what's in the box? What's behind the door? I don't know, but so many so many cool shapes, so many cool textures, like the broken wood and the roots, and you know the stone and stuff like that. Like, there's so many cool things to explore in uh, in in photos like this of like you know just just old stuff. I think it's so cool, and that's why you see a lot of my drawings, like a lot of my comics feature like you know, lots of ruins and rubble and just like trash and stuff like all over the place. Cause I just love the little, the little arbitrary details that you may not, you may not necessarily think about. And that's one of the, one of the values to, to using reference to practice. And, you know, like I've said, I don't use reference like actively when I'm drawing like comics or anything. That's why I, that's why I'm promoting this kind of practice where it's like, you know, practicing drawing with reference and kind of building a mental library of like, you know, what, what things look like, you know, because like if, if you've never seen a giraffe before and somebody tells you to draw a giraffe, you're like, I have n no idea what a giraffe is.
But if somebody tells you what a giraffe looks like and you've still never seen one, you're like, well, I have a better idea, but like, you know, it's still not gonna look like a real giraffe looks. But if somebody shows you a picture of a giraffe and then asks you to draw it, even if you've only seen it very briefly, like you much, much more, you'll be drawn a much more accurate giraffe than, than, you know, either of the previous two options. So, you know, if someone's like, well, you draw an old door with like roots growing in the frame, you've never done that before. It's like, uh, I, I don't know where to start. And like, you might draw something that's kind of cool, but like seeing it and like seeing the, the roots like actually grown into everything. It's like, that's, that's how you build, that's how you build your like mental library of images. And that, that's, that's how I like to think about it. Uh, one of my favorite artists, Kim Jong Gi, I've probably talked about him many, many times before, but he, he talks about drawing in that way of like building, you know, a mental library. And people ask him like how he can draw stuff from memory, like, so well he's like well I, I look at a lot of stuff like i know what stuff looks like so i know how to draw it and like i'm paraphrasing here but that that's what i took away from it you know just 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 the thought that like if you know what stuff looks like it makes it easier to draw and like just really simply really quickly like that makes a lot of sense to me you know and that's why that's why i'm i'm, I'm one of the reasons i'm making this show is because i want to try to promote the value of drawing from reference because I think a lot of people these days, a lot of artists get this idea that like drawing from reference is bad or like cheating in some way. And anybody who says that is, is, is foolish if you ask me. Um, and like, like I said, you know, you don't have to draw from reference actively, like have reference open every time you're drawing, but learning from reference, I think is the most important thing to, to take away. Uh, there's going to be a lot of talk about that on this show. And I think it's a really, really important issue uh, to discuss, you know, the use of reference and the value of reference. And I've, I've been, I've been doing a lot of research. I've been, you know, reading what a lot of other people have to say about, about reference and stuff like that. So as the, as the show goes on, you know, I'm going to want to talk more about, you know, my ideas with reference and like get, get a little bit more in depth because I can, I can talk about like the base level stuff for so long, but I really want to get like, you know, deeper into this kind of thing. So if you guys are interested in hearing more about that, then uh, keep watching the show, I guess. <laughs> it's good. It's good for me because I like making the show and I want to make more of it. And if you guys keep watching it, that's what's going to happen. Maybe you learn something. I don't know. And like I said, you know, this is this is all my opinion, all my idea. I'm not trying to say there's a right or wrong way to do anything, and I'll, I'll say that over and over until I die because I totally believe that. Art is all about finding your own way, but a really great way to find your own way is to see what other people are doing and, and you know, maybe you learn bits and pieces from them. And, uh, you know, uh, other artists, other people, you know, even if you see something that somebody does and you're like, oh, I don't like that. Well, at least you know that you don't like it and going forward, then you won't do that. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm getting a little off track here. This is, this is a neat door. I'm having, <laughs> having a lot of fun drawing this door, you know? All right, good times, you know, talking about talking about doors. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, when I was, when I was younger, if somebody would have asked me to just draw a door, I'd be like, that's boring. I don't want to draw doors. Like I want to draw aliens and zombies and, you know, dinosaurs shooting missiles and stuff like that. And that's all well and good. Like there's, there's plenty of time in the day to draw that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, especially if you're doing comics or animation or anything like that, it's good to know how to draw doors. You know, <laughs> it's, Guess what? Doors are a part of daily life. And if you're drawing you know, a story with human characters in it, you're probably going to be drawing a door at some point or another. So, you know, it's a, it's a good, good, time, good time to learn. And I'm, I'm pretty much wrapping up here. I'm not going to be adding any, you know, too much like color or detail or anything like this. Like right now, this is kind of just in like the, the, the oh, wow, I'm slamming doors. All right. Well, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be on the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks, neighbors. I appreciate it. Anyway, drawing doors, adding a little bit of texture because there's so much cool texture in this in this in this photo that you know I wish I could spend some more time um, developing this a little bit. Uh, I might actually save this one and draw it again later in like graphite or something like that. It might be kind of fun. Uh, it's also fun to to try drawing a reference drawing from a reference photo more than once and seeing how your seeing how your drawings kind of evolve as you draw the same thing more than once. Uh, that's definitely something I recommend trying, but. Uh, if you want to spend a little bit more time with this reference photo, I'd love to see what you what you come up with. It's you know definitely definitely a little bit different from last week. I'm you know definitely want to do some different stuff, change it up, keep things fresh. So 
hope you guys enjoy. Let me know. Let me know what you think, and uh, you know we'll get we'll get something different going going next week. I think uh, next week I'm gonna be leaning towards either doing something clothing related or figure related or both because I did an animal doing an inanimate object, and then maybe we'll do like some clothing or uh, or a person or something like that. So we'll see. I mean that that'll be something that we that that I do on and off because I think you know learning to draw. Uh, the figure and draw clothing is is super important so that's probably going to be you know one of the subjects that shows up more frequently on the show because there's you know that's just one of the things that takes a lot of practice to learn how to do so um the more you practice the better you get at it so we'll we'll definitely be practicing that kind of stuff but uh yeah love love to see what you guys come up with um i absolutely adore uh all of your feedback, the participation, everything. You know I love you guys. I say it in almost every single video, and I'll continue to do so because uh, if you ask me, you can never hear that enough. And, you know, I appreciate what you guys do for me and the support and everything like that. So thank you. Thank you a million times over. I love you guys. And I'm, I'm pretty much finishing up here, but uh, I had a whole lot of fun drawing this door. And I hope if you guys are drawing along too, you had fun as well. And, and uh, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens next week. And if you guys, you know... I'm thinking one show a week feels pretty good. Like that's a, that's a good, oh wow. It's getting really windy outside. All right, anyway, we're just doing this, you know, we're doing it live. We're doing it live pretty much. You guys are watching in the future, but right now it's windy and I'm recording and uh, just rolling with it. But yeah, uh, one, once a week feels good for the show for me, but uh, I could definitely do more. So if you guys are really into it and you really wanna see, you know, more than one episode a week, uh, I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do because I want to. I want to make you. I want to make you happy. And if you want more show, maybe I can give you some more show. So there's there's my door. Um, pretty you know pretty straightforward. You know I kind of I kind of like had a lot more fun with the detail on the roots than I did with the actual door itself. But uh, that's kind of the nature of drawing from reference. You kind of just you know go with it and see what happens. So. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Arts and Farts episode two. Next uh, next Saturday, it'll be episode three. And uh, we're going to be doing Saturdays from here on out. And uh, make sure to check the hashtag in the description and everything like that if you want to post your artwork to social media so that I can see it. Um, I'll be checking that stuff periodically uh, so that I can see everything because I really, really, really love to see it. So uh, if you, if you want to ask me any other questions or anything like that, don't hesitate to leave a comment. Or uh, hit me up on social media, DMs, email, um, Telegram. If you, I, I don't know how you get a Telegram to me, but I'll, I'll try, I'll try my best to, <laughs> to work with whatever you got. So, yeah, this has been Arts and Farts. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I sh certainly enjoyed uh, making it for you. So, uh, yes, thank you. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.